Let us understand recurrent neural network, long short term memory networks and transformers using a relatable example of income text prediction. So let's get started with recurrent neural network. What is recurrent neural network? So basically recurrent neural networks are a type of neural network used for processing sequence of data such as series of numbers, words or sentences. They are called recurrent because they use information from previous step in the sequence to make prediction about the current step. To understand it better, imagine you are a tax expert and you are trying to predict how much income tax someone will owe based on their income history. Now you have a list of their income for the past few years. To predict their income tax for the current year, you would use a recurrent neural network. Now this recurrent neural network would take each year's income as an input and use it to make prediction about the income tax for that year. But it would not just use the current year's income. It would also consider the income from previous years. This is because RNN remembers the information from previous inputs allowing it to make prediction based on patterns in the data. For example, if someone's income has been steadily rising over the past few years, the RNN would be able to predict a higher income tax for the current year compared to someone whose income has been relatively stable. This is because the RNN has learned that a pattern of increasing income tends to result in higher income tax. So in this example, RNN is using the sequence of income data to make a prediction about the income tax. And this is a simple example, but it illustrates how recurrent neural networks can use information from previous inputs to make better prediction than a network that only consider the current input. Next, understand this long short term memory now. Now this long short term memory is a type of recurrent neural network that is particularly good at handling sequential data. Now this LSTM, they are designed to remember information from previous inputs for longer periods of time, which allows them to make prediction based on the recent and distant inputs. So to continue with this income tax example, imagine you are a tax expert and you are trying to predict how much income tax someone will owe based on their income history. But this time you are using long short term memory to make your prediction. Now this long short term memory, it would take each year's income as an input just like RNN, but it has also some memory cells that allow it to remember important information from previous inputs. And these memory cells are like a series of interconnected buckets that store information. For example, the LSTM might store the person's overall income trend, whether it's increasing, stable or decreasing in one of these memory cells. And this information would be used to make predictions about the income tax, but it would not be overwritten by new inputs. So the LSTM would be able to remember this information from years ago, even if it has not seen the person's income data for a while. Now, in addition to this memory cell, LSM also had gate mechanism that controls the flow of information into and out of the memory cells. And these gates allow the LSTM to selectively choose which information to remember and which to forget. So in this example, LSTM is using its memory to make prediction about income tax. The memory cells allow it to consider information from previous inputs, even if it has not seen that information for a while. That is why LSTM are often used for tasks such as language translation where it is important to consider the context of previous words or phrases. Now in the end, let's understand what are transformers. Now these transformers are a type of neural network architecture that were introduced in 2017 and are particularly effective for processing sequential data such as natural language. Now these transformers, they are used for wide range of tasks including language translation, text summarization and question answering. So to understand how transformers work, let's continue with the income tax example. Imagine you are a tax expert and you are trying to predict how much income tax someone will owe based on the income history. But this time you are using transformer to make prediction. Now this transformer would take each year's income as an input just like RNN and LSTM example, but it would do so in a different way. Instead of processing the input, one input at a time, 
transformer process the entire sequence of inputs at once and to do this transformer uses a special kind of attention mechanism which is called self attention now the self attention allows the transformer to pay attention to different parts of input sequence in a flexible way so in this case self attention would allow the transformer to focus on the person's income in a particular year or to compare the person's income in one year to another so in addition to self attention transformer uses a special kind of neural network layer which is called multi headed attention layer now this multi headed attention layer allows the transformer to simultaneously consider multiple aspects of input sequence such as overall trend in income or the specific values of income in different years so in this example the transformer is using self attention and multi headed attention layer to process a sequence of income data and make predictions about income tax and this is a simplified example but it illustrates how transformers can efficiently process sequential data and attend to different parts of the input in a flexible way thank you